They're a little bit crooked. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to do this different than what I was expecting because the back is not sticky and this clear part is just protective I guess. this would have worked a lot better if the back was adhesive like I thought it was as you can tell I got super glue fingerprints all over the side of it and it's really hard to get it to stick in some places but we're just gonna go with it and see see what happens my plan is to just start layering up epoxy on top of this and just kind of build build on it to bulk it out all right, first layer of epoxy. So this is where we're at so far. This is three layers of epoxy. Of course, there's a ton of bubbles. I couldn't really torch it because all the epoxy wanted to just run straight off of it if I heated it up. So we're just gonna have to live with the bubbles. I got some smoke black. I'm just gonna try to brush across these scales at an angle. And I'm gonna try to just get some on the top. All right, let's see if that worked. Not bad, not bad. They're a little bit crooked, but that's okay. This is Beatsy. She only sleeps and boops. I'm probably not gonna have very much time to fish. We got some storms moving in. Oh, the sun just popped up. Lovely. It is a beautiful 67 degrees. It was 69 just a minute ago. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna try to do some fishing with this weird looking minnow thing I made. It seems to be an abomination, but I mean, if it catches a fish, then I'm good with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, 
kind of hard to see, but it, it's doing what I was kind of hoping. So whenever it hits the water, it kind of disappears because of the majority of it being clear. Yeah, you could accomplish the exact same thing using a clear, soft plastic, but, you know, whatever. It's got some interesting twitchiness about it, too, though. Well, it definitely acts like a fish that has something wrong with it. <laughs> 